Because now it's time to take on a whole new um, game. <laughs> Let's see, this one looks like it could be tough. As the Kestrel Cruiser, repair back to full health when it only has one HP remaining. I don't know about that. And then there's this. While using the Mantis Cruiser, kill the last enemy with your last crew member on their ship. Yeah, I'm not... I don't really care to do that. Let's just try... Whoops. Let's just try the stealth one again. Except, I'm picking a different crew now. I don't like the fact that I had a glaive beam only to begin. Buttered. Dengler and Lombard. And we're going to try for this again. Start! The data you carry is vital to the f remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Yes, sir. Do lasers, mini beam, and as much dodge as possible. Save positions, and we will jump. Hmm. Going to the store with only 30 scrap is kind of silly. Let's see what else I can get. The distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears it is being chased by a pirate. Well, let's aid the civilian ship, shall we? You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Dual lasers on shields, please. Oh, no, wait. Hm, not on shields. On weapons. That is far more important at this juncture. Because I have no shields. Ah, I better, better activate. And mini beam to take it down. Amongst other things. There we go. Keep hitting the shields. And hit that gun. Oh, wow. Okay, video viewers, you could probably read Spike's account on my little chat side there. Spike says, The closest game I've ever had would have went in some kind of record book. I was at one hull and just fired my last missile. At the same time, the flagship fired their missiles. My missile hit and killed the flagship, and I dodged all three missiles with my 30% chance to dodge. Or close to it. That has got to be a record book for sure. I mean, I'm still finding it hard to even believe, but... Why would you lie to me, Spikes? Why would you lie to me? The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. Aw. You take what you can from the remains of the ship. Well, worth it, I guess. Still sucks that they're dead. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mi mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Would love to get shields, dude. Coming here might have been a mistake. Let's at least get another crew member to be shields manager. Wait, why am I doing that? I don't have shields. Idiot! So I'll put him there instead. So then I gotta jump. If I jump here. And then flirt with the rebel fleet here. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. 
hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unarmed. We will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Never! Let's take down your shields, please. Yeah, fire, fire those at the same time. I'm cool with that. Mini, mini, beam, mini, beam. Ah, oh, boy. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyways. Welcome aboard, Schultz. I will gladly take Manta Manti. Not for your repair abilities, but when people board my ship. Let's hit this with one. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Attack the slavers, come! Destroy! Destroy! Oh, I definitely... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be close. Mini beam on weapons... Actually, wait. I know what I'm gonna do. Hide and fire mini beam. Yes. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Welcome aboard, Teldarin. Drink up, Ben Hur. Uh, yes, I will make you that. Because if you have to go heal, you're not far away at all. Well, you swore on those cupcakes, so I'm going to assume that you meant it. Asteroid f Oh god, not an asteroid field. Not with this ship. I'm avoiding any and all asteroid fields with this ship. You receive a message from a small convoy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. I must regrettably inform you that I cannot make that trade. I respectfully decline. You decline. You decline. You need what supplies you have. Oh, you decline. You need what supplies you have. All right, spikes. You are now a rock. That guy's a rock. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down their, your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move in to attack. Well, darn. We're gonna have to get really close against that beam weapon again. didn't make it in time well let's hide from that fire the laser what 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 I call shenanigans keep those weapons down Ow, ow, screw you. And your GD beam. Piss off, Wanka. Oh, freaking time, man. Ugh. Good. Oh right, the engines are disabled. Uh, okay, everything seems fine now, actually. Good! Prepare for death! Crud. Come now. Oh, you piece of shit. Go down! Woo! 
sub on YouTube. Thanks, Spikes. With the pirate ship destroyed, your ship's systems system is restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can from the debris. Repairs. All right, all right, buddy. Go heal. And then get back. Jump to a store? Not just yet. I need more scrap before I hit a store. Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated rebel scout has used a local satellite to deploy a virus to disrupt your shield si well, your shield systems, which I have none of. Hopefully it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. Must shoot down weapons. Dodging. And three rooms. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. What do you got for me, store? Uh, maybe after I uh, visit another location. Because it's actually the only path I can take to the exit. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Let's hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. I would like to help them, but I'm going to politely decline. So that was actually just a big waste of fuel. The space station here has a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. I can't get shrown, I can't get shields. <coughs> but this will be handy. Scrap recovery arm, because I need to get more scrap so I can buy more shields. Fix some hull. And head to the exit. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Why demand the surrender of your goods? You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. Oh, crap. F off, drone. F off. What did I just say? Good. Good, good, good. Let's hit those shields. And finish it off. A la so. Have we? Have we really? Because it seems that they're dead. The enemies are dead. The ship was carrying military supplies. You pick up anything that looks salvageable from the debris. Jumping to next sector. Door. Ba, 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 ba. You're far from the Federation home space, whereas in Zoltan. What? You're far from Federation home space here in Zoltan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. Uh, 
Okay, I'll hit a distress signal here. You arrive to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery that happened it's a mystery what happened to the crew, but it'd be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. Yeah, I'm a scavenge. Oh, uh, I really should have gone this way first. Too bad, so sad. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it is a rebel automated scout. Oh no. No, 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 no. 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 Let's take down the drone. I said take down the drone. What? You're still functioning? Screw you. Go to hell. Whatever robot hell is. Good. You so and so. There, go fix our oxygen supplies. Do 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 do. And then go fix that. And finish it off. No drones allowed. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Dangler? Bueller. Yeah, you can stay there. Um, jump here, here, then here. Yes. That will do. Circus Afro, Circus Afro? What? What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Something strikes you as odd about a moon in the distance. Let's check it out. It looks as if a team could break through the fragile layer of the moon's surface into a hidden cavern. I can either attempt to detonate some explosives to break through the surface, or explosives are too valuable to waste on excavation work. Let's get out of here. Let's use a missile. A portion of the surface layer is destroyed in an immer impressive display, revealing miles of caves. You don't have time to fully explore them, but you find some remains of an old subterranean base that could be useful. Works for me. The next time I come across a shop, it better have a damn shield system. You receive a transmission. Sorry sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. What are you? Missiles and asteroids. Fine with me. Let's hit them wep let's hit them shields actually. Come on, shoot me. I dare ya. Cause I'm gonna hide. And with the shield down, we shall cut across. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. It shall not escape me. Fire the lasers! Destroy. Destroy. Ow. Sore loser. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Somebody go help him. 
And then you go heal. And then you go back to weapons. I'll put you back in there. Crisscross are gonna make ya. Jump! Jump! As you wait for the FTL drive to charge, you half expect to be ambushed at any moment. However, no attack comes. What a waste. What a waste. Any shops? Any shops? There are a few more zealous in their custom checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons licenses. But things escalate rapidly, from heated discussion to gunfire. You guys suck. You know that? And that missile's definitely gonna suck. So I just have to shoot. Just fire, fire, fire. Gotta take that shield down. Oh, here comes the missile. I'm hiding. Might as well close that up. Oh, no, wait. You need to stay there, actually. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to rely on my dodging. goes. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Didn't dodge. And they're all dead. Good. Get off my ship. Wait. Dangler was engine room. Was he engine room? Wasn't doing a very good job of it. In any case, their shields are now on fire, which is good. So I will fire at their weapons. And of course he still has the missile. Dodge! Why do you no listen? Take down those shields. Dodge big time. Butters. Go heal. You guys go fix weapons. Actually, why don't you just go back to agents? You go fix. And you go die. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Everybody goes back to where they belong. So you can go help fix this. Speed up the process a bit. And get you back here. Yes, a store! After I visit this beacon. Flirting with the rebels. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Well, let's participate in your study. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings after a short time. Oh, take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Sure. Let's hit the store. Come on, shields. Be there. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? Yes! Shields! Shields! Oh my god, shields! Pull fix. Fuel. 
eh, it's not really worth it. Besides, I need power to activate my, to power my shields. There we go. Flirting with the rebel fleet. You don't have time to hail the Zoltan ship that was waiting at this beacon before it jumps away. They are care they are a careful race. What a waste. I hate wasting fuel like that. Yeah, some knick-knack, right? This nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire. Well, now you've just risked your lives. Congratulations. You guys are dead. Take down the shields. Okay, now really take down the shields. Please actually take down the shields. seem to get it. Well, what if I did this? Nope. This one's tough. What are we going to fire on? Shields again. Keep it down and then do that. Mini, mini beam. Resist. Alright, it's a rock ship. Let's hit their weapons then. Boom! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Jump to here. And then destroy. And then the exit. Okay, Spikes. I understand that you must leave. Thank you for staying as long as you did, and thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I'm assuming you also subscribe to my Twitch channel, so thanks a lot. I hope to see you around. You jump just in time to witness the Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In his final moments, their captain implores you not to get involved, but it's too late. Their attacker is already upon you. Fire on your shields, and I missed, which I will rectify. Then attack your weapons and just leave the beam where it is. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Yeah, good. Good try. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Jump to store. Let's see what I can buy. A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Uh, oh, right, I have this. I can sell that. I don't want a crew teleporter. Don't really care much for any other crew, too. And fuel should be okay. So instead, I'm going to take that scrap and pump it into shields. Because shields. Shields are the awesome. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FDL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. 
I demand the surrender of your goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. You will not. Wait for it. I need more time. Right across. Whoops. My screen just blacked out there. That's weird. It's okay. Game is still active. And beam. Uh, let's take out your weapons. And then finish you off uh, like so. The debris implies that the ship was carrying drone schematics, but unfortunately, nothing remains. You do find functioning drone parts, however. Eh, fair enough. Let's hit some uncharted nebula. Uncharted nebula. This nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigatable. What you got? What you got for me? A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon before you have time to make contact with them. They fade into the nebula. I'm going to use my long range scanner. Pump extra power into your sensors and try to track them. You follow the faint signatures and find them floating not too far away into the nebula. Thrilled to be found by friendlies, they come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. Excellent! Another mantis. I'm going to make. Oh, hey, guess what? You're a shields guy now. I don't need sensors, so I might as well make you door guy. But I don't. Nah, what am I doing? All right, Shelsea, you go in there. Turing, you stay where you are. Not jumping into an ion for ion storm. Thank you. I hate it. I hate ion storms. You cross paths with an advanced scout of the rebel fleet, searching this section of the nebula for your ship. Well, uh, yeah, it feels great to be wanted, in a way. Wanted. But what I want is you destroyed. Like this. Bam, bam, complete destruction. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Lots of ships in my way here. Not enough shops. Navigating the fog blind, you practically bump hulls with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pa! This transgression will be overlooked. Nebula very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. There won't be a next time. Open fire. I, uh, you don't have a teleporter. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm, can't reach. Might as well do this then. And now you have no weapons.
How did you fix that so quickly? You're Mantis for crying out loud. Yep. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Oh, now you're getting at. Now you're getting good at it. Okay, let's jump somewhere where hopefully there be some shops eventually, maybe, perhaps. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Let's attack the automated ship to get to the station. Let's hit your shields. Hit your shields, sir. And then follow up like so. Attack your weapons, and three hit. Wait, this is an easier three hit. No, that is not an easier three hit. That's an easier three hit. Not that it matters, because it just needs to go down by one. I am talking. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. Let's investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. <coughs> Doo -doo. Yes, a store. <coughs> store in a corner, too. You discover a cluster of Federation refugee ships taking shelter in the folds of the nebula. I'm sorry, we've got nothing to give you, but we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense they'll strike a trade. No drone control, thank you. And no, I don't need you. Let's get some fuel. Um, do I need to upgrade anything in particular? Not really. I'm good to just keep whatever scrap I've got right now. So at this point, I think I can only hit one, two, three, four, five, six more beacons. And we'll see. We shall see. The more beacons, the better. Without active sensors, you have no other option but to look out of the viewports in apprehension. It's eerily quiet. It's eerily stupid. You feel naked without functioning sensors. You half expect a rebel ship to appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but none come. Come on now. Give me something useful here. A mantis ship hails you through the storm. These are sacred clan hiding hunting grounds. You are prey. Shields up. Would you like a mint for that? Need to smack down their weapons. Hiding. Um, how can I attack three things at once? Like this, I guess. Maybe four things at once? Ooh, four things. Sounds good to me. Attack the shields. Pew pew. And then have the beam do this. And I missed my chance. Missed my window. Crud. Dodge, 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 dodge. That wasn't a dodge. That was barely an evade. Fire. Fire, 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 fire in your lungs. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Go heal. Which is not active at the moment. And everybody return to positions.
There's nothing here save for vast swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. Why? Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Oh, well, I'm about to attack the ship! It will be destroyed. Observe your destruction! Dodge. And... What am I gonna... Maybe... Weapons. And just to make sure about it... The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Shields are still up. That's no good. Shields need to go down. Yeah, like that. And stay down. The ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. Nope. I'd rather kill you than you. I need scrap, scrap, scrap. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I like scrappy. Boop, a doop, a doop, a doop, a doop, a doop. This long range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Well, I'm gonna go. Gonna take a little detour here. You notice a mantis attack ship ducking between the clouds of swirling space stuff. It's hunting you. You try to get the jump and move in to attack. How dare you hide in that space stuff? Where'd they pop in? They are attacking my door systems. Oh man, I was already there. Waiting, waiting. Take down the shields. And take the down the shields even further. Keep aiming at the shields. I'll set this up to do that. Oh, he died fast. Crud. Yeah, that wouldn't have. That would not have made it in time. All right, let's just fire again. Pew pew. And hit the shields again. I don't want them active. Really? Do you think as a mantis you're going to be able to fix that that quickly? I don't think so. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Ooh. Better hit the exit. And jump to the next sector, which will be slug controlled nebula. Slug controlled nebula. You're told the slug homeworld is somewhere in this nebula. You can't see them, but you know they're watching. This is true. But that's we're gonna have to save the conclusion of this play through until another time because it's time for lunch for me and hope to see anybody who's watching this again goodbye farewell so long alvita say good